My name is Anthony Cruz Michael. I'm the pastor of St. Anthony's Parish, Lloydminster. Before we enter into this actual celebration, I'd like to express my heartfelt sympathies to Bill's wife, Eleanor, and his children, five children, 14 grandchildren, three great grandchildren, brothers, sister, and in-laws, nieces, nephews, and other relatives. I express my heartfelt uh, condolences and prayers on behalf of our parish, and I pray that God's love and mercy will gather the soul of our brother Bill and grant eternal rest and peace. We begin this celebration in the triune God's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ Jesus, who by dying, on the cross has freed us from eternal death and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let's pray for our brother Bill that he may share in Christ's victory and let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Bill, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. Now let us listen to the first reading, and this reading will be proclaimed by Hall Weber. I invite him for proclaiming the first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for his salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials so that the genuineness of your faith being more precious than gold that though perishable is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 23. The response is the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. And so when I ask for the response, if everybody could say it in a way that would make Bill proud. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. Response, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I have no fear, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In response, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. In response, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. 
Response, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Would you please stand for the gospel? The Lord be with you and with the Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the gospel wipe away my sins. Please be seated. From the scriptures we hear that for the, everything there is season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to be gone, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. So it speaks about the proper things that has, be, that has to be done in a proper time that is given to us. The ancient Greek used to Two words for time. We all use just once, one word saying that it's this time, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and so on, we say. But generally, in ancient Greeks, two terms are used to refer to time. The first one is chronos, and the other is kairos. Chronos refers to minutes and seconds that we are at this time here, present in this chapel, Offering our prayers for our brother Bill. It refers to a time as a measurement. And it emphasizes the sequence or chain of events. But whereas Kairos refers to an appointed time. A moment that is very important. It describes a moment that is filled or pregnant with the sacred purpose. Whether it is Kronos or Kairos, both are created by God for the purpose of human beings. In time, Bill was born. In that Kronos and Kairos, he got married. A simple man with great values, who loved his family. Lot of interests that he took in order to keep this family together. Today is that day that is pregnant with sacred purpose. That when a human person is born, that person comes with a purpose in life. Sometimes people 
really live to the fullest? There are people who do forget that this time is given for them to prepare themselves for the life to come. We come together to honor and reflect and to say goodbye and to gather our emotions, memories, and to mourn and express our deep love and attachment to Bill who has gone from us. We come together to recognize and affirm the mystery of death and to commend our brother into God's eternal care. We commit his body, his remains, to a dignified end that not only when a person is alive, we respect that person, even after the person has lost his breath, we still respect that person because he was one among us and he lived with us. Today the gospel for this service tells us how we can live our life in a proper way. If we follow what Jesus has taught to us in the Sermon on the Mount, then we will be called blessed. In today's gospel, the word blessed is used nine times. The ordinary word for blessed is happiness. What is the goal of our human life? All we try to look on and seek for happiness. We seek happiness by means of human actions. And I was reading what Bill has done in his life. So many activities, so many things with purpose he has achieved. Saint Thomas Aquinas, one of the great scholars of the Catholic Church, says, human beings normally achieve happiness by means of human actions, that is embodied acts of intellect and will. Bill sought happiness by being with his family, by doing all those things he loved in life. As human beings, we search for happiness in material things and physical things. But St. Thomas Aquinas tells the happiness that human being possess in this life is imperfect. And that's why there's always an emptiness within us, a void within us, that allows us to seek more and more for something greater. A person who has understood what life is all about, that person will look for this happiness in supernatural things, that is, things that are related to God and God himself. The happiness possessed by God, the angels, and the blessed is perfect. The infused virtues, whether theological or moral, at best attain happiness only imperfectly since their contemplation and love of God is at best imperfectly only happiness in heaven is perfect. This is what St. Thomas tells, the happiness that we possess on this earth is imperfect. The happiness that we will be possessing in heaven is the perfect happiness and he calls that one as a beatific vision. After everything done, that is, living a life as a young man, and after, getting, after that, getting married, bringing up children in good ways of life, Bill has gone to enjoy that blessed, blessedness and perfect happiness in the presence of God. The first reading for today's service tells us we have a living hope in this union and beatific vision through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We believe one day Bill will enter into the heavenly inheritance that is imperishable, 
undefiled and unfading dear brothers and sisters the one who raised jesus from death will raise bill into his presence until we meet him in the heavenly kingdom let's pray that god gives you gives all of you the courage brings you healing at this time and give you the peace that is necessary at this time i pray that god's love will be with you and give you the courage and understanding about the reality of life and accept what comes in life as god given plan for us when we refuse to accept god's plan then we react we are angry about what comes in life take time to reflect about your own life do not resist what comes in life as a blessing always face what comes as a blessing with a sense of humor with a sense of purpose there you will find a good direction that is leading you for the life to come this month of november is dedicated for all souls i know that you know all of us in some level we have lost our dear ones we maybe bring these people in prayer today at this time as we pray for bill that as they have entered through the mercy of god into eternity may the soul of bill also one day will enter through the mercy and forgiveness of god and through our prayers so please offer prayers for bill and continue to remember him through your prayers and if you can offer mass for his soul time and again please try to do that this is one of the ways that we remember the goodness of bill and also we pray because bill is helpless to pray for himself now he needs our prayers and therefore please do pray that his soul will one day enter into the heavenly home amen now we invite wanda to come and lead us in the prayers of the faithful prayers of intercession the response lord hear our prayer for bill who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for bill who ate the body of christ the bread of life that he may be raised up on the last day we pray to the lord for our deceased relatives and friends and for all who have helped us that they may have the reward of their goodness we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for those who have fallen asleep in the hope of raising rising again that they may see god face to face we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the family and friends of our brother bill that they may be consoled in their grief by the lord who wept at the death of his friend lazarus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for all of us assembled here to worship in faith that we may be gathered together again in god's kingdom we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer believing in the eternal life for our brother bill let's offer our prayers by the prayer that jesus has taught us to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
बटे रसम किए बोले this is not part of the service that what, what i'm going to ask but it will be a memorable one for you so feel free whether to um, express what you feel about bill just you know one sentence or one word what you really know about bill and what comes to your mind at this time we can say that you know one may say that bill is a loving person other may say that others may say that bill was a person who united the family so if that comes to you at least like like to get few response from you sorry what is that oh 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 good thank you then kind gentleman kind gentleman thank you uh huh good what else mm hmm his whole life is about sacrifice for his family and kids great always welcome to into his home superb mm hmm mm -hmm. wow you yeah, know no one goes hungry yeah yeah great i asked you this purposefully because you know a person will be always remembered by the qualities that a person has lived if we are grateful to that person we have to imbibe or take something of that person but that person's good qualities so as it comes to your mind about bill these good qualities make it your own life this is the way that we can live in gratitude for the life and the sacrifice of bill so remember that bill will always be in your heart and mind when you begin to live these good qualities of bill so good luck and god's blessings in your efforts to live the good values of bill now we come for the final commendation trusting in god we have prayed together for bill and now we come to the last farewell there is sadness in parting but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see bill again and enjoy his friendship although this small little gathering will disperse in sorrow the mercy of god will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom therefore let us console one another in the faith of jesus christ in the prayers of the faithful that it was beautifully read that bill was baptized in Christ Jesus as a sign of his baptism and as a sign of his entering into glory one day with Christ Jesus we sprinkle the holy water on the casket of bill in baptism bill shared in the death and resurrection of Christ may he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life o oh lord we commend the soul of bill your servant in the sight of this world he is now dead in your sight may he live forever forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness and in your goodness grant him everlasting peace we ask this through christ our lord amen dear friends may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of god's peace for you in peace and in the sure hope of the resurrection we take leave of our brother bill knowing that one day we shall be with him in heaven the lord be with you may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit peace be with you